It's gonna give me flashbacks of choir in the arms of an angel. Anyway, stop. All right, ready? <laughs> Are we ready to go? What's going on everybody? Patrick Ali here with Caesar North America and this is another segment of Crafting with Patrick. Now, this week is super special because not only we're we doing a cool craft, at the end of the video, there's a pretty interesting announcement as well. So today we're gonna use some lights, we're gonna use some foam core board, we're gonna use some Caesar PSV. So stay tuned for this episode of Crafting with Patrick. Alrighty guys, so today's project is super fun. I know there's a lot of stuff on the table, so let's go through our material list. We have foam core board that I picked up from the store. We have just a regular box cutter knife. Adults, pay attention if your kids are using this for this project. Uh, we have some glue that we're gonna be using for our project. LED strips, I'll tell you why those come in handy here in a little bit. And then also some polycarbonate sheeting. So this is just a plastic plexiglass sheeting. Uh, this is actually gonna be the front of our craft that we're doing today. Uh, and then also, as always, we're doing Caesar PSV. I have Caesar white. I have Caesar black. I have PSV silver. I have Caesar etch, which maybe not a lot of people maybe know about, maybe there's something new to you, but we're gonna use some of that etch today for a specific reason. And as always, we need our Caesar application tape. So let's get started in today's project. Alrighty, so our craft today that we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna make a cool LED sign box. Now, uh, I picked up a couple of items. We're gonna kind of figure this out together. This is the first time that I've really constructed a full box, but I like to learn with you. And then we can see my mistakes. It helps us in the long run. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our foam core board. We're just gonna set it down on the table in front of us. And we need to measure our surface area of our box. We need to know how big our box is gonna be. Now for me personally, I'm gonna make my box about 11 inches by seven inches. And then I'm only gonna make it maybe two or three inches deep because I really, really wanna get those LEDs in there and make them shine when we go to our final product. Now, with that said, I'm gonna lay my foam core board, like I said, on the, on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my polycarbonate sheet and I'm gonna simply trace out the area of the polycarbonate sheet. That's gonna give us the backside of the box, which you'll understand more in a second here once we start cutting. Now, if you can see this, I have a little bit of a, a score line here so I know how big my box is actually going to be. Now, the nice thing is, guys, I'm using a T-square for this. It just helps me to get nice straight lines because actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start scoring marks and measuring where I'm going to be cutting and where my, the sides of my box are going to be as well. So, I'm going to take my T-square here. Like I said, I want to do it about three inches deep. So I'm gonna actually go from here where my box starts, and I'm just gonna go one, two, and about, we'll just do it to two here. That'll give us enough room. I'm gonna make sure I score on the top and the bottom on both sides of the box. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna start marking my box uh, off and basically making the sides. When we come back, we'll show you how to construct the box using glue uh, and also cut it so that we can put it all together. Be right back. Alrighty guys, so now that we have all of our score marks, I'm gonna take my blade. You probably can't see on camera, so I'm gonna try to hold this as close as I can. I only need maybe a half inch or eighth of an inch uh, blade depth on this, okay? Because we're not trying to actually cut through the entire board. We're just trying to score it so that we can fold our box and let kind of the box do the work for us. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut along the lines of my box, making sure that I'm paying a sp special attention to the lines that I've already scored for myself and cutting along the lines themselves. And that should be it. So now I know where my quote unquote waste area is gonna be and that's gonna be anything that's on the outside of all of these score marks. So when we come back, what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna show you how to construct this box, but first, let me get this all cut out for you and we'll go over the next step. Now that we have the basic outline of our box made, we're gonna go ahead and make some score marks around our lines on the box itself so that we can go ahead and fold over the edges, glue them together, and that'll be the 
box portion of this project, okay? So, I'm just gonna cut, again, about halfway through the cork or the foam board, and what I'm gonna actually do is if I score it, I'll show you here in a second, I will be able to lightly fold over that edge. Now I have an edge to my box. So, I'm gonna knock these out really quick, and then we'll go over the next steps. Alrighty, so now that we have all of our wings cut out, I can go ahead and get the general layout of my box here. That right there will be my frame. It's pretty sweet. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna glue all the edges together uh, so that our box actually stays intact. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so we have our box together. I just wanna do a couple quick tips on how to actually get the box together. Now you might notice some tape around the edges. That's simply to hold the box up and all of the sides together while I'm gluing everything in. Now, real quick tip, if you take some of your scrap, okay, from your foam core board, and if you just cut a small strip and actually rip that off, score it in the middle so you fold it in half, and then put glue on both sides, it actually works as a really good binder for the inside of the box. You can kind of see how I have those braces. Now, don't worry about it. We're gonna have a sign in front of this, so I'm not worried about anything on the inside showing through, but just a quick tip. So, while we're working on the rest of our project, we're gonna go ahead and let this dry. I'm gonna keep this tape on here for now. We're gonna work on the face of our box, and then I'll show you how to add in the LED strips and put everything together. So, the next step in our project is we're gonna work on the face. And what we're doing is we're gonna take that polycarbonate cover that we had, the piece of plastic or plexiglass, and I'm gonna take some Caesar Etch. Now, if you watched my last video where I showed you how to wrap a phone, this step's actually gonna come in handy. So, simple enough, I'm going to measure out how much of this etch I need, do a quick cut across there, remove the etch from the backing, Alrighty, and again, we're going to lay this down, uh, the face of the etch PSV down, sticky side up, okay? I'm going to simply take my piece of polycarbonate, and I'm just gonna line it up and drop it down flat. Simply uh, take your finger, mark the middle. We're gonna take our sque uh, Caesar squeegee, and we're just gonna work those bubbles out, starting from the middle, out. And then I'll take my blade, and we'll run it just along the side of the polycarbonate sheet, and what that'll do is cut away all of the excess PSV. Just fold over my edges, make sure that I have one clean piece. I'm not necessarily worried about the tops, bottoms, or sides, because all that'll be hidden. So now, you can simply see, if I take my hand, put it behind, transparent enough, but opaque enough all at the same time. It's tropaque. Alrighty, so now we have our box. The face will actually go on top of the box and it'll allow the LED to shine through. We're gonna go ahead and remove the tape that was bracing the edges. This is always a fun game to know if your glue dried in enough time. Now I'm gonna show you the next step, LED strips. Now I bought these uh, just from a regular retail store. The nice thing is about these strips is that if I don't need the whole roll, I actually can cut it and make it to the size that I need. Now, obviously for a box this big, I don't need 64 inches of LED strip. I might need, you know, 12 or so. So what I'm actually gonna do is take my LED strip inside my box. Let me see if I can do this here so you can see. I'm gonna align it all along the backside and make sure that when I, by the time I get to the end, I know where to cut my LED strip, okay? So we're gonna do that. When we come back, I'll show you how to make sure your LED lights work. Uh, also, we'll show you a couple tips and tricks to actually uh, just make this an all-inclusive box. Alrighty, now that we're done uh, putting the LEDs in our box, I wanted to show you really quick how we did that. Now, all LEDs typically come with a power bank or some kind of power cord. That has to be on the outside of the box. What has to be on the inside of the box is the LEDs. So, we cut a small hole on the side. Uh, I was able to actually let the remote uh, receiver poke out so that we can change our LEDs whenever we want. And if you notice on the inside, there's an adhesive backing to LED lights. And I actually just line that up along the border on the back side of this uh, box. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and plug in my power bank. So we have some power here. Take my etch face, put it on the front, and then now, turn it on. And now we have an LED box that'll display our sign. 
And just like that, you have your sign. You got your LED sign here. Pretty cool stuff that we got going on. Uh, we obviously use our black, our silver, our white. What's up, man? I'm sorry, what? What are you doing? I thought we were doing the podcast thing. Oh yeah, hey guys, by the way, I forgot to tell you. Sorry, man, I completely forgot. This is Chad. I this was this was the thing. Sorry, dude. So this is Chad Poole. I'm Patrick Ali, obviously. Uh, one of the newest additions, like I told you we would have at the end of this video, is the Decorate Podcast powered by Caesar North America. Uh, we're here, we're bringing you content from everywhere. I think it's pretty awesome. Across the globe. Across the globe, across the globe. You can find us on, where can you find us? You can find us on iTunes, you can find us on Podbean, you can find us on YouTube, you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Twitter, on Instagram, everything, the Decorate Podcast. Newest podcast, newest addition to the Caesar family. We're super happy uh, to bring you a ton of content. Um, and I mean, is there anything else you want to say about that? I just thought we were we were doing podcasts. I didn't oh. mean to interrupt anything, but yes, we're super excited to bring this to you guys. I'm Chad Poole, for those of you that may not know me. I'm new to the Caesar family here, um, but Patrick, uh, he's going to do a really good job at this stuff. That's where the, that's where the good stuff's at. Alrighty guys, that's it. Another episode of Crafting with Patrick in the books. We showed you how to make a really cool LED sign for maybe your custom business. Uh, we'll be back next week with another Caesar video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share our content everywhere. And don't forget also, tune in to the Decorate Podcast with us. You guys have a great day, stay creative, we love you. Bye. Hey dude, we did, we did the tapping the table at the same time.